The killer has gone gray during his decades in prison. No surprise, considering how long this day has been coming. He's basically been on death row longer than Elston Howard was alive. He was 26 years old whenever he was gunned down by this uh, murderer and uh, basically assassinated in that bookstore in 1988. Almost 28 years have passed since the hot July night when gunmen walked into an adult bookstore where a police officer happened to be writing the clerk a ticket. Officer Elston Howard was shot four times. Robert Jennings was sentenced to die, but his case has bounced around the legal system for decades, all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Even back when he was first tried, the victim's mother complained the process was taking a long time. It's been hard, very hard to have to sit here and wait. Remembrances of Elston Howard have appeared on a memorial webpage where his daughter has written, I hope I am making you proud, and I hope that I grow up to be the daughter that you wanted me to be. I never stop thinking about you, and I will never let your memory fade. I want my unborn son to be like my daddy. I want my husband to be like my daddy. There is no one else like my daddy, and I thank you for loving me. Somehow, the killer survived into the 21st century. Today, a judge set his execution date. Once again, the officer's mother was there, and so was Houston's interim police chief, who's now an old friend of Elston Howard's mother. When I had my two children, first my son, and uh, then my daughter, eight years later, uh, she was the lady who uh, took care of them for me. The convicted killer is now scheduled to die September 14th, 10,283 days after the death of Officer Elston Howard. Doug Miller, KHOU 11 News.